contracts for it. The latest official evolution X ROM version 8.2 has been rolled out with Android 14 and has the Android security update of January 2024. And in today's video, I'll go in depth into this ROM and show you all of its new features, customizations, potential bugs and many more. And also I'll give you my honest opinion about this ROM. So without further ado, let's get started. This Evolution X is one of those ROMs that gives updates frequently. Currently, there are very few ROMs that have provided the January 2024 security update and Evolution X is one of them. Kernel SU support. The interesting thing is that this ROM comes with kernel SU support by default, which is really amazing. This is going to be useful for those people who want kernel SU support on their phone and don't want to go through a lengthy rooting process in order to root their phone. By the way, if you want to know the official method for your Android phone, please check the video in the description section below. Camera so discussing the camera this evolution x comes with a leica camera loaded with really great features it includes photos videos documents as well as a pro mode where you get advanced manual control over the camera you can control white balance perform manual focus change shutter speed and manually adjust iso and exposure levels which is incredibly useful for professional photography purposes However, on the video settings, I discovered that it can only record up to 1080p at 30fps, which was unexpected for this phone. It should have at least provided an option for 4K recording. Nonetheless, it offers other cool features like motion tracking, AI camera, subtitles, audio zoom, and more. Safety Net and Play Protect Certification Let's now check the safety net status of this room. For this, I'll be using a safety net checker app and to see the safety net status, I'll tap on check safety net button. And as you can see, it has passed the safety net compatibility test. Additionally, let's check the play protect certification. For this, we need to go to the play store app and inside its settings section, it confirms that the device is certified. Quick setting panel. Now let's jump into the quick setting panel of this room and it is incredibly smooth. There are no lags or stuttering while swiping up and down in the QS panel, even being an Android 14 room. And regarding quick setting tiles, this room comes with numerous options including a QR code scanner, smart pixels, volume panel, calculator and even a call recording tile which is great to have. Also, if you're wondering about smart pixels, it's essentially a feature designed to save battery life by selectively shutting down some pixels on your screen. You can choose the number of pixels to shut down and there's also an option to enable smart pixels when you turn on battery saver mode. Launcher Talking about the launcher, you may already know that Evolution X ROM comes with its Evolution X launcher. However, in this Android 14 version, it has adopted the Pixel launcher. If you recall, this isn't the first time Evolution X has featured the Pixel launcher. In its Android 13 version, Evolution X 7.7 .7 also used the Pixel launcher. But in subsequent updates, it reverted to its Evolution X launcher. And due to the inclusion of the Pixel Launcher, there aren't many customizations available in its home settings and on recent app section. You will miss some features like Seek to clear all tasks on recent app, use taskbar and more. Although Pixel Launcher does not offer extensive customizations, it is remarkably smooth as seen on Pixel Experience ROM. Also, Evolution X ROM has brought back its Evolver section where you will find numerous customization options to personalize your phone according to your needs. Basic Call Recording This new Android version Evolution X 8.2 has something cool. It can record your phone calls without making any noise about it. Usually, other custom ROM doesn't have this feature, but here it is. You get a basic call recording app that comes inbuilt with this ROM, and you can turn it on to record all your incoming and outgoing calls. App lock feature. 
So the missing feature is now back. I'm referring to none other than the app lock feature, which can be found in security and privacy settings. This feature is needed by many because it secures any desired app with a passcode or fingerprint, adding an extra layer of security to your phone. Also in security settings, you can secure your phone with a password, pin, fingerprint, and even with a face lock feature, which is really fast. Cloned apps. In the app settings, there is a cool thing called cloned apps. It's like making a twin of your app so you can have two of them. In simpler terms, it enables you to have two copies of the same app on your phone, making it convenient to manage different accounts or profiles without the need to constantly log in and log out. You can use one for personal use and another for business purposes as well. Battery settings. Now I'll access the battery settings within this room. Here you will discover a new option named fast charging design to address the issue of your phone charging slowly. Additionally, you can disable this feature and manually set the maximum current in milliamperes. This value essentially represents the charging current, the rate at which electric current flows to charge your phone's battery. The higher the number, the faster your phone charges. However, be cautious not to set it too high as it may potentially harm both the battery and the device. And another thing that impresses me in this battery setting is its battery saver section, which now has a standard battery saver and an extreme battery saver section separated. You can also set schedules and reminders for battery saver. For instance, you can enable the turn on based on battery level option, allowing you to set a specific battery percentage between 20% and 75%. If the battery level falls below the set percentage, the battery saver will be enabled automatically. This is a really useful feature. Furthermore, you can also enable the turn off at 90% option. This will automatically turn off the battery saver when your phone's battery crosses 90%. Lastly, there is the battery saver reminder option which will remind you to turn on battery saver mode if your phone's battery is low. This is yet another useful feature. Miscellaneous features As I have already told you on the beginning that this Evolution Axe 8.0 ROM, you will get the Evolver section where you will get tons of customization options in different sections of phones which you can see on the screen. And similarly there is miscellaneous settings where you will find some new things like Play Integrity Fix, Enable Pixel Props, Spoof as Pixel 8 Pro, Unlimited Photo Stories, Unlock Higher FPS in Games, Netflix spoof and even ignore Windows secure flags option. Bugs Now after exploring all the features and customizations of Evolution Axe at point to roam, let's have a look into the bugs I encountered while using it. The first issue is a user switcher bouncer on the lock screen section, implemented for easy switching between multiple users. However, it makes the password section tiny and challenging to type on, particularly if you use a pin or pattern. Fingerprint and face unlock works well. So moving on to another bug in the camera section, while the camera functions properly for photos and videos, the portrait mode causes the camera to crash, impacting the overall experience. This could discourage users from choosing this version of Evolution Axe ROM. And the last bug I found while using this ROM is that the volume output from this speaker is slightly lower than it should. The volume isn't significantly low, but if you compare it with other phones, you may notice that it is slightly lower. However, in this ROM, there is Piper FX provided, allowing you to customize and enhance your device's audio settings, including equalization, bass boost, and other audio effects. Conclusion As you have seen, I have covered everything about the Evolution Axe 8.2 ROM based on Android version 14 with the January 2024 security patch, including its features, customizations, and even the box. Now it's time to conclude and share my honest opinion about this. Honestly, I really love using the Evolution Axe ROM on my phone and I have been using it for a long time due to its necessary features, extensive customizations, smoothness and overall stability. However, in this particular version, I encountered some bugs that I didn't like, such as the portrait mode, a crucial feature 
and the small password buttons and patterns on the lock screen which aren't user friendly and of course the sound problem this box significantly impact the overall user experience in daily use so due to these issues i didn't enjoy using this rom as much however apart from these problems everything in this rom is impressive and works well if you're someone who can overlook these three bugs you can definitely use this rom on a daily basis so this is my honest opinion towards this room and that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you like my work then don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe to cracks with youtube channel also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye